Imagination is 2020. Grasshopper. We humans have five senses sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. We generally lean more heavily on one of them to interpret the world around us. Regardless of the sense you default to as the main filter of your world, all your senses can employ imagination. Let's pretend that you're a very visual person. You mainly think in pictures. And let's further pretend that your future looks fuzzy, meaning that your pictures are out of focus and you just can't see your way clear towards an objective. What to do? It's time to put on your imagination glasses and bring things into sharper focus. I remember a comedian once asking, Do you dream more clearly when you wear your glasses to bed? Notice that your dreams are in focus. They go around any physical limitation you may have with your sight in your waking world. The same is true for imagination. It can make things as clear as you want them to be because it's a workaround for any sensing limitation you may be experiencing. Think of a perfume creator. They may do all sorts of scientific tests on their new essence, but it all began with this question. What will it smell like? If they can't answer that, it doesn't, as they say, pass the smell test. Enter imagination. I wonder what rose petals and vanilla with a hint of orange would smell like. It's like the grasshopper reminded us years ago. Even science goes out the window when the odds are 50-50. That's when we discover that imagination is 2020. Bonus. When you use all your senses while you're imagining, you'll come up with broader options. What will it look, sound, smell, taste, and feel like? I often think of the saying Wayne Dyer left us with, Imagination is the force of creation. My sense is we just don't use it enough, and as a result, we stay stuck. The great ballad singer of yore, Nat King Cole, sang these lyrics, Pretend you're happy when you're blue, it isn't very hard to do. Pretending and imagination are the possibility twins. Make sure to call on them when you're at your wit's end. All the best, John.